everyone and welcome to my studio. My name is Marie Blom and I am a professional fine artist based in beautiful Norway. And in this video, I thought I would share the five things that I always do before I start my oil painting. In today's video I'm going to share the five things that I always do before I start my oil painting. I am a firm believer that your painting actually starts way before you start applying paint to the canvas. You know it starts with the ideas that you have around your painting, it starts with your inspiration, it starts with really setting yourself, yourself up for success by preparing your materials and to really set the scene so that you can go into a state of mind that makes it easier for you to just get into the flow. So today I'm going to share the five things that helps me achieve this. So the very first thing I always do before I start my painting is that I apply something called an imprimatura to my canvas or my panel that I will be painting on. So for those of you who do not know, imprimatura, it can be translated from Italian to first layer. And what you do when you apply an imprimatura is that you apply like a colored ground or a layer, a thin layer of color to your canvas that stops it from being white and gives it a nice coherent color and value that makes it easier for you to judge the colors and values that you lay down on your canvas. So this is going to bring a sense of unity to your painting from the very get-go and it's also going to make it a little bit less intimidating to actually get started. I find that once I have an imprimatura down on my canvas then it's just not that scary anymore. I find that a white canvas can be quite garish and quite intense to look at and when I put a layer of an imprimatura on that just softens the, cam the canvas and it just gets me more excited about starting my painting. So to apply an imprimatura it's really easy. All you need is the color that you would like your imprimatura to be. I would recommend a color that is quite neutral and that dries quickly. The reason why is because you want those initial layers of your painting to be quite thin and to dry quickly and you also want to have a color that makes it easier to judge your other colors and values that you put down on your canvas. Then you also need some sort of thinner so that that will help you spread out the paint in a thinner layer on your canvas. And then lastly, you need some paper towels or you need um, a cloth that will help you actually uh, spread the paint on your canvas. You can also use a brush for this if you would like. Now, the reason why this is the very first step and the very first thing that I do before I do anything else is because I like my imprimatura to dry. So usually I do this like, let's say one or two days before I actually start my painting so that the imprimatura gets a chance to dry before I start painting on top of it. Now, the second thing that I do before I start my painting is that I arrange my setup. So usually I paint from life, which means that I have to arrange a setup to follow for my painting. But if I'm painting from photos, then I will also make sure that I have my photos ready to and really, you know, arranged and set up so that I have everything ready for my painting session. So this, um, you know, is something that I also like to spend a little bit of time on unless I'm very, very sure and certain about what I want to paint. Usually I like to take some time. Usually I, I even take a whole day and I really figure out like how I want my composition to be and how I want the light situation to be. And I just really take my time and prepare for my painting session so that when I start painting, then everything is exactly the way that I want it to be. And I don't have like any little thing that, you know, all of a sudden I want to change because then that is going to interrupt everything. And, you know, probably then I would have to start over. So really taking my time, getting to know my setup. Sometimes I'll even also use the day when I'm working on my setup to make some studies, some quick compositional studies of my setup, maybe just in uh, charcoal or do some smaller sketches, just to really get a feel for the painting that I'm going to, to be um, creating. So the third thing I did before I started my painting, this is quite a personal one, this might not be for everyone, but I really love to find a good audiobook or some music before I start my painting. I find that having good audiobooks or music really helps me focus and it just helps me get in that zone a lot quicker. 
So some people might not want this, some people might prefer complete silence, so that's of course up to you, but I really find that it helps me focus, plus I spend so much time painting and I find that, you know, being able to listen to an audiobook when I paint really enables me to listen to all these great books that I would love to read, but if I were to only read them when I'm, you know, not painting or not doing anything else, then I wouldn't actually be able to get through that many books each month and when I have you know the opportunity to listen to audiobooks I get to listen to so many amazing books and I get to be told so many wonderful stories so I find that it's a great way to get those books in and to to multitask in that way. Okay so the fourth thing that I usually do before I start my painting this is also quite personal but I do love to get a nice cup of tea. So maybe you're someone who would totally also love to have a nice cup of tea with you when you're painting. Maybe you don't even care, but this is something I usually do. I get a nice cup of tea. This helps me focus. It just makes the whole my whole environment a little bit more cozy, a little bit more relaxed. I have my nice cup of tea that I can enjoy throughout the painting session. And it's just, I think, a really nice way to bring some more cozy energy to the studio and to my painting session. So the fifth and final thing I do before I start my painting is to prepare my materials. So I figure out which brushes I'm going to use, I get, you know, enough paper towels or, uh, you know, like towels that I can dry off the paint on when I'm working, I make sure that I have any mediums or thinners that I need to, uh, you know, next to me to really help me uh, get the maximal potential out of my paint and I also of course mix my colors. So this is something I always do before I start painting, I always pre-mix my colors. Now some people like to brush mix and they just like to kind of mix their colors as they're moving through the painting but I really love to get that out of the way and just make like at least a selection of base color mixes that I can always mix in between as I go to find adjust colors and values but just to you know have that done before I start my painting I feel also enables me to get more easily into flow and enables me also to paint quicker. If I constantly have to stop and mix new colors for every single time that I'm kind of moving a little bit around and painting, I find that this can kind of break my concentration a bit. I just really find that pre-mixing all my colors sets me up for success in a completely different way than if I don't. Okay, so those are the five things I usually do before I start my painting. First, I put an imprimatura on my canvas to help me judge the colors and values of what I'm painting. Then I like to arrange my setup and maybe even make a few studies for my setup just to really map out how I want the composition. And then I like to find a nice audiobook or podcast or maybe even some music that just helps me get in the zone better for my painting session. Then I like to get a nice cup of tea and finally I arrange and prepare all my materials and specifically I make color mixes so I pre-mix all my colors so that I don't have to worry about that as I'm painting my painting. Okay so that was five ways that I like to prepare for my painting session. Now I would love to know if you have other ways or other things that you like to do before you start your painting that you feel help you get in the zone and that helps you really set yourself up for success before your next painting. Then let me know in the comments. I would love to, to know and to get inspired as well. And uh, yeah I really hope you liked the video. If you did like the video and you would like more more content like this then I also invite you to subscribe to my channel. I post videos more or less every week about oil painting information, inspiration tips and so much more. So if this sounds interesting then hit that subscribe button and the small bell icon so you always know when I post a new video. Okay I wish you lots of inspiration and happy painting. Bye!